Free agency is right around the corner, and it's time for the Detroit Lions to look upon these free agents. And I wanted to give you 12 individuals the Lions should take a look at to improve their roster via free agency. Now, when it comes to this list, it's in no particular order, no particular skill set, and no particular type of job on the field. We're going to have individuals from the offense. We're going to have individuals from the defense. We're going to have depth guys, and we're going to have potential starters on this list. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. The first free agent on my list here is wide receiver Josh Reynolds. Now he was with the Los Angeles Rams. You look at his size, he's 6'3", 196 pounds, 25 years old. It's always good to get an individual that's on the young side. If you're going to go for free agents, that's the best way, in my opinion, to go because you have a higher ceiling. Now he has time with Jared Goff and that is important from a player standpoint. His stats don't blow you off the wall. He only got 52 receptions, 618 yards, 11.9 yards a catch, and two touchdowns. But again, they had a lot of weapons over there with the Rams, and they had issues with the quarterback position. Obviously, Jared Goff, and they had a backup in there a couple of times. I think that he can do better here in Detroit. We seem to always do well with wide receivers. I think this would be a lower option for the Detroit Lions. And given the circumstances that there's free agents that we need to resign and there's free agents out there to help the Detroit Lions, this would not be a bad signing in my opinion. We need help at the depth at the wide receiver position. Just take a look here. We only have three receivers currently on contract. Quintez Cephas, Geronimo Allison, and Victor Bolden. That is not what you want to see from a positional group. You want to see more diversity for that, and I think bringing in Josh Reynolds could help out from a wide receiver standpoint. Also, we could look in the draft and get some individuals to build up this depth a little bit. Folks, go ahead and hit that like button. The more likes that you get, the more chance that the video gets out via YouTube algorithm trying to get my video out there because I'm going against the legacy media and I tell you what they own the market completely they don't like our team they disrespect it I'm an individual that likes to bring out information on our team the Detroit Lions another individual I think the Detroit Lions could take a look at and would be a cheaper option is Sheldon Rankin's defensive tackle from the New Orleans Saints obviously Dan Campbell came from New Orleans we need help at that position. He's 6'2", 305, and he's 26 years old. To me, I love the young guys, and it would be nice depth for the Detroit Lions defensive interior. His stats is not going to blow you away. Again, 13 solo, 7 assisted, 1.5 sacks, a total of 20. But he would be a cheaper option for the Lions. you got to understand, we don't have all the money in the world. And I think it's important to have depth. This would be a good depth guy. Yes, we do have a lot of players for the defensive line position. But it's vital to have depth because these guys get worn out. And I think adding him would be a nice rotation to continue to attempt to stop the run. Clog up the middle that we get destroyed at so much. I think with the connection there with the need on defense. I think he'd be a, a decent acquisition for the Detroit Lions. I think that would not be bad. Throw him on the defensive line, help out. There's definitely better options, though, for defensive tackle, and we're going to get into that going forward. This one would be a long shot, and that is free agent linebacker Hassan Reddick. He's 6'1", 235, 26. This guy he was a beast for the Arizona Cardinals in 2020. He had 43 solo tackles, 20 assisted, 12.5 sacks, 63 total. This is a major amount of accomplishment for Hassan Reddick. The Detroit Lions need linebackers. If we look at the depth here, the depth is absolutely atrocious. Christian Jones, Tavine Collins, they're not getting it done. If you could somehow pry away Hassan Reddick, add him to that linebacking core, it would be a major upgrade. The issue here is, is he's going to cost a pretty penny. This would be an individual that you'd have to pay a little bit, but I think it would be worth it given that he is so good at the linebacking core and we need desperately to upgrade that position. How about we sign our own guys? And that would be Romeo Aquara, 6'4", 263, a young guy. He did well for our Detroit Lions. He really showed out this season to really build upon the defensive line. With all the issues that we had, he was not the problem. 32 solo, 12 assisted, 10 sacks, three forced fumbles. He's going to command a decent contract here 
We may not be able to re-sign him. I do hope that the Detroit Lions do re-sign him. He would be a good quality keeper for this defensive line. And it's important for the Detroit Lions to keep good continuity. Well, I mean good continuity. I mean individuals that actually can do a good job. We need to have people that are on this team that's not screwing up, and he's an individual that has not done that. Let's attempt to re-sign Kenny Galladay. If not, how about we franchise tag him and trade him? Look, we all know what he does. He's a big body, 6'4", 214, 27, still young. Now we offered him a $16 million contract and he turned it down. The yards and everything, that wasn't there due to injury, but if he does not want to resign with the Detroit Lions, I think it would be awesome and a smart idea to franchise tag him, turn around and trade him. There's teams like the New York Giants that covet Kenny Galladay. You can get better compensation via trade than if you did the compensary pick third round, because that's what he's probably going to get. If we can trade him for a second round draft pick, that would be fantastic. Or we can simply re-sign him to a long-term deal. Either way, that would be the options I would explore if I was Brad Holmes. Like I said, hit that like button. The more likes you get, the more chance that the video gets out. It can be annoying. I get it. But again, we are one pride. We're going against the legacy media who does not like our team, doesn't like to bring out our statistics, doesn't like to talk about our franchise. So it's individuals such as myself that can bring that out to you. The more likes you get, the more that the video gets spread out. We need help at the safety position. And there's one from the Minnesota Vikings who could help us out. 6-1-202-29, Anthony Harris. The stats are not going to blow out you with him. 58 solo, 46 assisted, 7 pass defense, a total of 104. But it would be a quality idea to add him to the safety position. We've had issues at that position last year. Will Harris, CJ Moore is not cutting it. Tracy Walker was not living up to the potential. And I think adding him would be a decent depth, a low cost, high reward type of deal. We can also draft one in the NFL draft, get a safety there. But why not get a guy that can help out? He's a Rudy veteran. I think it would not be a bad signing. Just see if that would be a good fit for him and good fit for us. For a veteran here, and we're talking about Ryan Kerrigan, 6'4", 265. He's 32. He's a little longer in the tooth here, but we're talking about free agents. We don't have all the money in the world. We need help upon this defensive line. Ryan Kerrigan has done it. Nine solo, eight assisted, 5.5 sacks, total of 17. Why it's low? Well, did you not see what the Washington football team did? They had a lot of young players upon that defensive line. We're talking about Chase Young, Montez Sweat. They had all sorts of weapons, and Ryan Kerrigan was the older guy, the odd man out. This is something that it would not cost the Detroit Lions a whole lot, and yes, it's probably a one-year deal. And give it a try. I think he's still got some left in the gas in the tank. He would be kind of like the Everson Griffin type of signing here, throw him on the defensive line. He's not every down defensive end, but he'd be a good rotational player and fairly cheap in my opinion. This is an extreme long shot. I don't expect him to be on the market. I expect the Buccaneers to attempt to resign him, and that is my favorite linebacker, Levanta David. 6'1", 234, 31 years old. He is a little older, but the guy has got a motor like no other. Look at his stats. 82 solo, one interception, 1.5 sacks, three force fumbles. Levanta David is one of the best linebackers in all NFL, and if the Detroit Lions could get him to throw him on this defensive linebacking core, it would be an immediate upgrade for the Detroit Lions. We're talking going from a very poor linebacking core to having a very solid piece in Levanta David. I don't expect this to happen. I do expect him to be with the Buccaneers, but if he does not get re-signed, at least, at least make a phone call and attempt to. If not, look, he's going to be expensive. There is other options, but I have to throw him on this list because he's a beast. Ooh, we're talking defensive tackle here, and there's a guy on the market that is a monster amongst men. And this is Leonard Williams, 6'5", 302, and young at 26 years old. 29 solo, 28 assisted, 11.5 sacks, and a total of 57. Leonard Williams would be an immediate impact player upon this defensive line, immediately upgrading a position of weakness to making it a very good strength. 
this one's going to cost some money. Generally, when it comes to free agents, you don't want to see a whole lot of big spending. But if the Dan Campbell era in Brad Holmes would like to get one boss guy in here, Leonard Williams could be that guy. It's going to cost you money because he's young and he's very good and he will immediately upgrade the defensive line. What happens when you upgrade a defensive line, folks? It's simple. The linebacking core and the secondary gets better. Go ahead, make a phone call. He's going to be coveted by multiple teams. We may not get him, but you got to give it a try. We need help at the wide receiver position, I think, when it comes to Sammy Watkins. He's not going to be too pricey because he does have an injury history, but we need help at the wide receiver position, and when he is healthy, he can make a difference. He's 6'1", 211, 27 years old, not too old. When healthy, he is good. 37 receptions, 321, 11.4, and two touchdowns. The issue for Sammy Watkins is health, purely health. I'm a guy that does not like to sign injured players. With that said, we're desperate in need for some wide receivers. Anyone that we can get that's on the cheaper side is probably a good route to go. If you're unwilling to get Kenny Galladay, you got to have somebody on this field. And when he is on the field, he is good. And Jared Goff is going to need some sort of weapons here. I think I would rather go for the other options at wide receiver, but if you strike out, he could be an individual to look at. We need another running back for this team, and I don't believe that Kerryon Johnson is going to be the guy for the future. Mark Ingram would be a nice veteran presence, a third down running back. He's 5'9", 215. He's a little older than the 2 the 31, but we don't need him to be an every down back. Having him in this backfield, having DeAndre Swift and then Mark Ingram would be a good one-two combination to really pound the rock. Dan Campbell has stressed running the football hard and bringing and pounding that rock. He's rushed for 72.99, a 4.2 average with two touchdowns. Again, this would be a second guy, a third down back. Swift's going to get the most of the carries, and he's a hard-nosed runner. Having that type of individual on the team would really emphasize running the football just like we need to do here for the Detroit Lions to help out Jared Goff and become more of a physical football team. I think our Mark Ingram could be a good piece to help do that for the Detroit Lions. Last but not least is Melvin Ingram, the defensive end from Los Angeles. He's 6'2". 247, 31 age, a little longer in the tooth here, but we're talking about free agents that we can help out that won't cost a big time penny. His stats were not that great. Five solo, five assisted, zero sacks, and one interception. He still has talent. Can he be on the field? That's the issue. But we're looking for rotational players, and I think he could be a good rotational player. Notice a lot of my defensive ends here are a little bit older and on the cheaper side. I think that if we can get Romeo Aquara, just get a veteran that could just help out with the rotation that still has some gas left in the tank would really do wonders for the defensive line. I think that we still need to go draft a defensive end, a young guy. We got other individuals that can help out, but you need to have waves of edge rushers coming at you. And I think Melvin Ingram would be a decent to have on a couple of downs, a good rotational player. In the upcoming videos, we got the One Pride podcast every Thursday at 6.30 p.m. EST. We do the mailbag segment. You guys got questions. We have answers. Make sure you hit that notification bell so you don't miss out. Also, got videos dropping about the NFL draft throughout sporadically throughout the week. I'm dropping content every single day. If you're not subscribed, you're not going to get that content. You're going to miss out. So make sure you hit the subscribe button, hit that notification bell, and you can get the content you want.